Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you a fantastic strength build that will allow you to destroy the toughest bosses of the game at the speed of light. This amazing setup is incredibly easy to use and it has an insanely fast DPS. This is the definitive easy mode for this game. I'm going to be using this build to destroy every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. We are going to be using two rusted anchors on plus 25 with the crack blade as of war on the heavy affinity. Also, we are going to use the star fist on plus 25 with the crack blade dash of war on the heavy affinity as well. In the same way, we can use any weapon with the raptor optimist dash of war to easily dodge the Radan's light explosion attack or the commander Gaius charge attack. And we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We are going to be using the Rakshasa armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 8% if we wear the entire set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Rodent Windsor Insignia. And the last two talismans will depend completely on which weapon we are going to use. For the Star Fist, the best we can do is is use the entire Rakshasa's armor set with the Axe Talisman and the Dagger Talisman or the Viridian Amber Medallion on plus 2. If we are going to use the Rusted Anchors, the best we can do is use the Power Stance Jump Attacks. For that reason, we are going to use the Great Bird's Black Wheel Armor to increase the damage of our Jump Attacks by 10%. And we are going to use our Millicent's Prosthesis and Rodent Wings or Insignia with the Spear Talisman and the Claw Talisman. This way, we are going to maximize the potential of our Power Stance Jump Attacks. The Talismans and the Chest Armor Piece are going to be the only things that will change depending on the weapon. The rest of the build is going to be the same for both weapons. In our Flask of Wonders Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. But if you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear for any reason, you can use the Stone Barb Crack Tear or the Spike Crack Tear. Those two options are going to perform incredibly good with these weapons. With this build, we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grant Me Strength. This build devours stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Necks to boost your stamina recovery speed. In order to obtain the max performance of these weapons and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 60 on Vigor, 18 on Mind, 50 on Endurance, 99 on Strength, 10 on Dexterity and 25 on Fate. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see, I have my Scattery Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to use your Pickle Turtle Leg which is completely optional, remember that. Now we are going to use Crack Blade on our left hand weapon and then we are going to use it on the right hand weapon if we are going to use the Rusted Anchors. If you are going to use the Star Fist only then use it only once. Refill your FP, refill your HP and lastly you are going to use your body buff. In this case, it's going to be Blood Boil Aromatic, but you can also use Flame Grand Me Strength. And with that, you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? With this, let's go. I was close. That's nice. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, careful here. I need I need him to get out of here, yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. Boom. Boom. Very good, guys. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's do this, guys. Let's destroy this guy. Okay. Quite interesting. Nice. Now we go. Come on. Oh, that's a lot of damage, baby. <laughs> Let's get him. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and we go with the horse. We just have to dodge sideways and with that it should be consistent. Now. Oof, it's very difficult sometimes, but we got this. Come on, very good. We're going down now, bad boy. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. There you go. 
man, you're done. Oh my god. Nice. This one was very cool, guys. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> now let's go, baby. Oh no. Nice. And that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys, let's go. Take this, bad boy. Oh, there you go. There you go, my bad man. Come on. We're about to get melted, buddy. Take that. And you're going down now. Boom! <laughs> Easy and smooth, guys. Nice. You are stuck with me here! You are stuck with me here! Amazing, bro! <laughs> nice! Very beautiful, guys! Nice, here we go. Okay, homie, I'm waiting for you. There you go, 7k. Nice. Oh, a very good amount of damage. Let's go, baby. Oh, I knew it, bro. Let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's... Oh, my God. He was running. There you go, bad boy. <laughs> That was insane, guys. Now we go with Elden Beast. Careful here. 